Hey, what's going on guys? Um, back with a new video. Um, this is the Apple TV Generation 2. Uh, I've had it for a few months. Actually, I bought it when it first became available at the Apple Store. Um, but I uh, was really not satisfied with it because I pretty much paid 100 bucks just to do Netflix. Um, I didn't feel the, the need or use of the other Apple related stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, but now I found new use because I was able to jailbreak it um, using the uh, Pawnage tool. Um, this one is running the latest uh, firmware as of August 2011, which is 4.2.2. Um, but that one actually has, I believe, two versions. I have the second version, which is the latest version and um, you have to do a little trick with the Punnage tool app where you would have to add um, the custom bundle file um, you could find all that information from the uh, the dev guys' website um, or a google anyway um, once you jailbreak the apple tv generation 2 you're gonna get um, this little guy here the Nito tv app uh, where you could install uh, all sorts of different software that didn't come uh, with the factory version of the Apple TV 2. So if we hit install, install software, this is where you could install um, all of the uh, other real cool software. Um, so what I've installed so far is this remote HD app. Um, it pretty much uh, lets you use a an app uh, that will run on your iOS device, whether it's on your iPhone, iPad, uh, iPod Touch. Um, but what it pretty much uh, allows you to do is um, it lets you use your iOS device uh, as a remote control. Uh, and it uses a VNC um, to connect to it remotely. So um, you can pretty much uh, use it as a keyboard. Uh, that's why I did or use it for anyway. Um, really helps a lot when you have to enter um, like accounts, usernames and passwords and stuff like that rather than having to use the Apple remote uh, to browse the letters around or whatever. It's really a pain but uh, the app is available at the App Store for your iOS device. Uh, I think it's like $4.99 so I thought it was a, a good deal for a good price. <clears throat> good app. Anyway, uh, and the other app I installed is uh, whoops, uh, XBMC. Um, this is a great media center uh, app um, and it lets me uh, pretty much browse um, my DLNA uh, server which is running off my uh, Terra station. So um, this is what I really use it for is the XBMC um, other than the Netflix. So um, let's turn on XBMC and what this is going to do is gonna, it's going to let me uh, browse for my uh, videos that are stored on my Terra station, my, uh, my NAS box pretty much. And um, so let's go check out some movies that I've uh, transcoded from Blu-ray. Um, got all these guys here. And let's see what's a good one. Um, Predators. So Predators, um, I transcoded it to 720p. Um, I would have done 1080p, but the Apple TV could only do 720p. Boo! Anyway, um, this is, um, Predators 720p I transcoded. And let me turn up the volume. So um, I'm pretty much streaming this through Wi-Fi. Um, and it's high def. Uh, I'm pretty good. So Okay, enough of that. 
Um, so that was uh, Predators using XBMC on my Terra Station DLNA server. Um, there's other things you could do with the uh, XBMC, um, but you know I'm not gonna go through all that. So um, it isn't that stable as you can see right now. It restarted. Um, so one of the drawbacks. Um, of, of uh, jailbreaking but um, for the most part it, it does what I need it to do um, so yeah that's pretty much it I mean that's this is why jail broke it XBMC uh, now I have more use for the Apple TV than just Netflix and uh, if you're not familiar with Netflix or haven't seen how Netflix works I'll just uh, give you a quick run through here so um, it's pretty much just like uh, streaming Netflix off any other devices um, but uh, personally I like the the menus the way the menu, menus are set up um, in the Apple TV uh, for Netflix so um, but that's it 